Okay. <laughs> no one is going to believe what just happened here. And I, uh, there's no video to prove it, but I'm gonna have to set up cameras because it's probably gonna happen again and it explains so, so much. I'm walking up from the new baby being born. I'm walking to Carl's area. I'm getting ready to water my plants and a bald eagle comes flying right across this path, swoops down and picks up one of their eggs right in front of me, which explains why we had four eggs and now there are one. We kept blaming it on the dogs. And this, oh my God, I have to turn this around. You poor, look at Carl. He's like, we gotta move the nest. We gotta get it out of here. Poor Carl and Debbie are freaking out and I don't blame them one bit. And oh my God, this is, I saw our dogs in here laying near the nest last night and I don't, I didn't understand why. And I thought Carl would kill them, but he didn't. Carl was over sleeping over there and I thought that's really strange. Why would they be in there? And are they the ones messing with these eggs? But it makes so much more sense now. All three big dogs, Millie, Fiona, and Christmas sat and were laying in a circle around these eggs. And now there's one, but I literally just watched this eagle fly right here, come down and pick up an ostrich egg while Carl was hauling it across the pasture to get here. Poor Carl. I feel so bad for you. I'm so sorry. Debbie, you worked so hard for those. Now, they're not nesting. They're not sitting on them or anything like that. But Lester and I just thought it was weird. We thought they were eating them, which is why we've been leaving them in there. Because we thought that they needed the nutrition. My mind is blown right now. That thing picked it up and flew directly back towards the woods. And it was a bald eagle. Like, it was white. It had its hips. It was very mature. I have to set up cameras to catch this thing to happen again. And now I wish I had fake eggs that I could put like GPS devices in so I could watch what goes on at that point in time because my mind is just like, oh. anyway, my lemon tree's blooming. That's another exciting thing. Not nearly as exciting as this, Carl. Not nearly as exciting as this. Look at it. It's up there, literally flying over Longhorn Lester's right now, looking to see if there are any ostrich eggs available to take. Now here's another one, which is a little bit off in the distance. Oh, it just went behind that tree. Do you see it way in there? Two of them right over, totally circling to see what we have for them. How crazy is this? Hold on. Look, that is a bald eel, y'all. And right now it's over Dixie and Beverly's pasture circling. Two of them. There's one. And there's two. Now, I don't know where the one went behind me. But it makes me wonder what exactly is happening over there. And gosh, they're majestic. Christmas is in the barn barking because she wants the cat's food. Ignore her. You know, when my brother and sister-in-law were here, Josh and Amy, we were talking and showing the kids and the kids were like, yeah, whatever, no big deal. But to us, they were almost extinct when we were kids. So to see them just out and about here, blatantly flying over our property and like dive bombing Carl's eggs is like majestic and so wild and like such an anomaly. Although it might be common to our kids today. Uh oh, where'd they go? That means they went down. Uh, okay, still circling. I'm gonna see if I can make it to the other side and still get them on video. This is crazy. Oh, that's right above Carl's pasture right now. Yeah, I'm walking over. I'm so nervous to miss it though. They're like tag teaming what is going on over here. But it is, it's so majestic and wild to watch and here I am filming two birds flying in the sky that you could barely see. I'm telling you though, they're huge, huge birds. Okay, I have walked over to Carl's side of the pasture and they were right here. <laughs> Did I scare them off now? Can I just not see them? I don't know. 
So while I don't see them in the air, in that short little walk over to here, I do see that Carl and Debbie are being uber protective. Debbie is actually on the nest, like standing right, right around it. And Carl is on big alert with his tail, like a rooster, up and he is pacing like crazy. I have cameras out here, but I haven't caught anything. And they're so fast that I think that my cameras are missing things because I will tell you that Debbie's laying eggs about every other day and they are just going missing left and right. I know these eagles are taking them. Josh and I watched it happen. I can't catch it on camera though. I'm gonna have to like form a stakeout. I just really thought that if I came around the corner, I might be able to see an attempt and man, nothing. I walk over here and everything's gone now. And well, everything's not gone. The eagles are gone and maybe Carl, maybe Carl warded them off this time. I don't know. But I will tell you some other really neat things that have been happening. So at nighttime, Millie, Fiona, and Christmas will sneak under Carl's gate and go sleep around that nest. I don't know what makes him okay with that because during the daytime, he's not really cool with them being in the pasture with him. But at nighttime, he's not sleeping on the eggs because he's not broody, thank goodness. But somehow our dogs know that, that still needs to be protected it makes no sense i will tell you though the day that josh and i watched that eagle come down right here it like i've never seen a pterodactyl in real life i'm sure they're much bigger but dang it it felt like it was pterodactyl size like it was huge swooping down right here in front of us as we sat on the porch drinking coffee and my mind was just blown and the thought of like I can't believe that just happened right in front of us is unbelievable I uh <laughs> Dixie's looking over here like are we gonna have breakfast today or like what because she knows that it is breakfast time and it's being uh interrupted by eagles and she's like they're gone we made them leave and she probably did she probably tag team with carl circled her pasture he circled his and uh together they have warded off the uh evil eagles <laughs> and they're like yeah let's get back with our day this happens every day mom like where were you what have you been doing i'm sorry i've been inside on zoom and it's just been i don't always look up at the sky i don't like i don't know how often do you look up in the sky every day just kind of a question to think about like how how many times do you literally look up and go huh when really our like normal you know range of view is is about eye level and maybe a little bit above and below anyway look christmas is even going in here to check on the goats she's an amazing dog y'all she's not going in there to mess with them she's not going in there to round them up she is literally going in to do a check which is how do they know? Look, here she goes. Well, you can't see her. She's going behind, making sure everybody back there is okay. It's unbelievable. Beverly's over here like, Mom, they're gone. We really got it, okay? I just keep thinking that they're going to they're gonna show back up and, and try again when y'all aren't looking. I don't know. Carl's like, we're, look, we're eating breakfast. Everything's back to normal. It's fine. If I knew what to feed eagles to where they wouldn't steal our eggs or they wouldn't hurt any animals, I would do that. Not right here. Maybe down by the river, though. Something along those lines. I don't know. I did. I have been doing a cat count every day now because if I know that they can pick up an egg, that means that they could technically pick up a cat. Not that I didn't do a cat count every day, but now I'm just like more diligent and if somebody's not present for food time then i'm like wait a minute where are they at where are they at and usually they're just a little bit late to the party because they're out hunting but it's really cool to see these things happen around here and i'm so glad i was able to catch a little bit of it on camera to prove to y'all that we're not nuts they really are around here and debbie i don't look at me like that she's like you are nuts maybe not for that but you're nuts okay you win all right, y'all, enough rambling. I gotta get Dixie her breakfast because she's already mad at me. And uh, she's like, are we eating or not eating? Because you're rambling on a whole lot, mom. I get it. Uh, 
breakfast for Dixie. We got a cold night coming up, so I got a lot more work to do around here, and I'm a survivor today. It's a cold day. I'm actually in my winter. Yeah, second winter is on. But I guess it's a great day to be an eagle. An evil eagle, Carl. That's what's going on around here. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.